Hello, Lacey, Lauren and Lincoln. I thought I'd send you a little video because um, your uh, your mum seems to be so busy with different programmes. I, uh, I find it difficult to find the right moment because I would like to talk to you personally. However, this is probably the best I can do for the moment. And I decided I would make a little uh, recorded video. And this is off the cuff. Your mum will explain that. I haven't planned anything. I'm just going to talk about anything that comes into my mind. Well, I've been looking at some of your antics um, and you've been, you're always busy. <laughs> I think it's all in your, like your mum, it's in your genes. Um, you just have this uh, wanting to do things and succeed. And that's great. It really is. Um, it warms my heart. I see that... Uh, you're even cooking your own breakfast and uh, i remember lauren showing us what she'd cooked there was a uh, was it an omelette on toast and there were some kind of donuts there they looked like uh scones to me what we call scones but i don't think they were a real donut because they hadn't got the hole in the middle but anyway it must be something that you enjoy at breakfast time and i see Lacey was cooking uh, she'd been cooking the same so you're getting quite expert at uh, making your own breakfast as well as many other skills that you've taken on. Using all the cooking uh, implements and the mixing machine and so on. Um, as long as you work safely and don't put your fingers in the bowl. <laughs> anyway, it's good to see you make such good progress. Um, the, this last two weeks I've had my daughter, my young daughter down here on holiday and she loves to go to the beach. In fact, we've been to the beach every day for two weeks except one day. And as you can imagine, uh, having uh, 13 uh, days in the sun on the beach, I'm getting more than a tan. <laughs> I should be looking like an Arab if I take any more sun. But anyway, I enjoyed it and we take a parasol just to uh, shade our heads. But other than that, we get as much sun as we can. And of course, the fun thing is to go and bathe in the sea. Uh, some days it's a little bit too rough or dangerous to swim. So we don't go in every day, but certainly uh, most times we're able to swim. Uh, the only thing we have to look out for are what we call jellyfish or medusa, as they call them in Spain. And it is like a big lump of jelly, but it has long legs like an octopus. And if you happen to touch one of these, they give you a nasty sting, really painful. Um, it's not life-threatening, but uh, it really is very uncomfortable for three or four hours, just like somebody stuck a thousand pins in your skin. Um, I've only ever come across this once, and I was swimming and a jellyfish went past my forehead and immediately I knew because there was this terrible pain in my forehead. But um, I, by the time, you know, uh, after three or four hours, it has subsided and it wasn't too bad. However, you have to look out for jellyfish in this part of the world. So um, yesterday uh, or the day before, um, we had a different a, a day off from the beach. And we went to a little village called Frigliana. I'm not sure whether I've sent you uh, your mum the videos. Um, Miranda, my daughter, took a few videos. And if I haven't already sent them to you, I'll look in my uh, gall um, gallery after I've switched off. And, and if I haven't sent them to you, they will follow this video. OK, you'll see it's quite a quaint place uh, very narrow streets cobblestones lots of little gift shops i'm sure you would love it it's uh, very quaint as we say quite the opposite to the big cities or the towns and there were many many tourists there which um which all adds to the uh, holiday feeling anyway it was almost too hot and we didn't go on to do another uh, venture, which was look for what they call the Lost Village, which is called Akabu Cha. But it was so hot, we decided to come home early. And uh, my daughter wanted to swim in the pool because 
we do have a community swimming pool on the campus and so she loves that and at the end of each day she loves to go in for a swim anyway i think that's about all my news for the moment i don't go on any longer because i don't think the phone is capable of uh, downloading any more memory so i'm going to stop at this point and forward this to your mum okay bye bye my lovelies